everyone, Chris here from Elderly Instruments, and I'm here today to talk to you about this beautiful instrument sitting in my lap. This is a, a Nyberg short scale Citern from 2004. Uh, Citern, um, why do they call it that? This is, uh, you know, in, in sort of the modern uh, folk revival, especially in Celtic music, uh, they started using instruments uh, to play harmony with, which is a kind of a newfangled thing. They started using Greek bazookis and, uh, and uh, octave mandolins and, and, uh, and various things like this including Citern, which is actually sort of a medieval period instrument, uh, just because they kind of didn't know what else to call them. But um, it's, what this means actually is this is sort of an, like a, a something between the scale length, meaning the, the distance of the, you know, from the bridge to the, uh, to the nut, um, is a, somewhere in between you know, a so-called Irish bazooki and a mandolin. And this is actually tuned, and as you can see, this is tuned also in, uh, in five courses. And the courses are all in unison. That's another thing that makes it a citern, or at least in the modern parlance. Uh, these are all um, tuned in unison, but they're 10 strings, but they're played as, uh, each string is played in pairs. And in this particular one, we have a situation where the uh, low to high, it's G, C, G, D, A. Uh, that's sort of, if you can imagine, the top four courses being the same as a viola or a cello, and then there's a low G string on here also. And it can lend itself actually to an array of different tunings. You can tune these a little more open modally, uh, which is great for accompaniment, which is kind of what I usually like to do with these things. Or um, that's because the scale is so short, relatively speaking, meaning the frets are closer together, you can, it, you can play this melodically as well. You can play tunes because the frets are closer together. This beautiful instrument has a cedar top. Cedar is a wonderful tone wood uh, that's, that's noted for its creamy kind of dark tone. Uh, the back and sides are mahogany. Mahogany is a great tone wood for, uh, for clarity and sort of a high definition of, of sound. Uh, this also has maple wood binding. I love, uh, I love wood binding. I think it's really beautiful. And as you can see, this is a very elegant um, looking instrument in its design. Um, it's also uh, very balanced. Uh, I love the way this plays because it's so responsive. Uh, that creamy dark cedar tone kind of uh, gives it more of a rich sort of responsive flavor that you don't always get with the, with the sort of the higher end clanger of mandolins and so forth. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun to play and, and, uh, and easy to play and there's, a, there's an off lot you can do with it.